ready to go. Student section's ready to go. The band's here tonight. A lot of energy here at Rochester High School, and the Zebras control the tip. Bowers with the basketball. Bowers goes over to Pollock on the far side. Down low they go now to Prater. Prater just outside the block, swings it now near side, stolen. Here's a steal by Trevor Daughtry. Left hand layup, up short. Bogger with the rebound. Rochester looks to push. Ahead to Bowers. Bowers kicks it to Pollock. Three on the way. Off the mark, no good. And a rebound's tipped around. Still loose on the floor. Pollock comes away with it. But in fourth, nope, they're going to say last touch by Wabash. It'll stay with Rochester here in front of the student section. Coach Wright didn't like the call. Uh, yeah. I think Dink, I think the, the again, the he's pleading the official was nowhere near the play. Yeah. The official was, who made the call was right there. So the Dinkins tipped it out. Bowers against Daughtry, kicks it out, and it's going to be out of bounds. Bogger couldn't get to it in time. And a turnover on the Zebras. I think Bogger thought uh, Bowers was going to go up with it. I thought he was. <laughs> so here comes Wabash with the basketball. Wright will be the point guard. Wright's going to go to the right side. Now off to Daughtry. Daughtry brings it back to the near side. Now to Vogel. Vogel holds top of the key. Now over to uh, Ford. Ford back up top to Wright. Wright, top of the key. Zebra's in a man right now. Vogel against Bowers. Or excuse me, that's Daughtry against Bowers. Here's Wright, three on the way. Off the mark. Rebound comes to the Zebras. And Rochester playing a man early. Again, we don't think they'll play much zone tonight. Bowers gives it off to Bogger. Now to Reinerts. Into the paint. Kicks it back out to Bogger. Far side. Bogger's into the paint. Out to Reinerts. Squares up for a three. Doesn't take it. Now he'll give it over to Bogger. Left to side. Bogger. Couple of dribbles. Loses it. Stripped by Daughtry. Ball still loose. Picked up by Prater. Prater to Bogger. Up off the glass. No good. And we're going to have a jump ball as Dinkus and Bogger battle. It'll be Wabash basketball. Coach going, uh, Malco going quickly to the bench, and Dylan Hook will come in. Bogger will sit down, and Bogger will get a little uh, piece of encouragement from Coach Malco. Six and a half to go here, still scoreless on the uh, Jennings Insurance scoreboard. The thing about Wabash is with Daughtry, a right, Vogel, and Ford, all four of them can essentially yeah. be a point guard and can get them into their offense. That's what makes them hard. That's what makes them hard to defend. Vogel at the elbow, good. Vogel with the first point of the game, two nothing now. Wabash. Here comes Rochester down on the other end. Bowers with the basketball. Bowers into the paint. Bowers pulls up, gives it off to Prater. Prater mishandles it, picks it back up off the glass. Good. Oh, and Prater with two. We're not at it two. 5.55 to go here in the opening quarter. Here is Vogel with the basketball. Vogel with the volleyball line. Goes right side now to Daughtry. Brings it to the near side to Dingus. Now over to right. Good job by the Zebras fighting through screens. Right against Prater. Cross court pass stolen by Bowers. Bowers, one-on-one -on -one against Daughtry, goes up, good. That was great defense by Owen Prater. I mean, that was really great defense. 4-2, Zebras with a two-point lead. Here's Wabash with the basketball. Now comes to the near side, off to Ford. Ford back up top to Wright. Wright has it into the paint, kicks it to Ford in the corner. Quick three for him, good. What a quick release by Grant Ford. And it's 5-4, to four. Wabash on top by one. He set Wabash's all-time three-point record earlier this year. Here is Pollock with the basketball. Carson gives it off to Hook. Dillon has it. Dillon, top of the key. Now goes to the far side over to uh, Reinerts into the corner to Bowers three. Bowers has five, and now the Zebras own a seven to five lead. Bazo will be checking in at the next opportunity. Vogel, top of the key, over the top to Ford. Ford dribbles in, kicks it back out, right for three. In and out, no good. Reinerts with the rebound. Tanner quickly ahead to Bowers. Bowers on the right wing to Tanner Reinerts. They leave him alone for three off the mark. No good. Boy, not sure what happened with Wright there. Wright was guarding Reinerts, but he just got lost in the lane. Quickly down, they go to Dinkus. Dinkus down low, they kick it back out, and Vogel chases it down. Vogel, top of the key. Vogel into the paint against Kapalik. Kicks it out, here's Ford for three, good. Six points for Ford, and uh, it's an eight-seven contest. Wabash up by one with 4.10 to go in the quarter. Pollock with it on the far side. Gives it up to Hook at the elbow. Hook dribbles down, take a shot off the backboard, too short, and a rebound comes away to Vogel. Vogel quickly ahead for the Apaches. Vogel assessing the situation, tries to go over the top, can't get it. Now comes to Daughtry. He'll fire a three from the left wing, nothing but the bottom of the net. 11-7. 
Walm hash up on top by four. Here is Prater. Prater dribbles in. Picks his dribble up. Now he's got to get rid of it. Going to have to hurry. Gives it off to Bowers. Bowers left side. Bowers kicks it out to Pollock. Pollock three on the way. No good. Prater gets the rebound. Prater down low against Vogel. Reverse layup up and good. Prater's got two. Actually, I don't think that was a reverse lap. I think he went same, he same side. Yeah. Did he up same? Yeah. It looked like to me he was going to go but to it reverse. Was a, it was a tougher angle, actually. Three on the way for Daughtry. That was uh, three, four feet behind the line. And it's a 14-9. Zebras take a quick timeout. It's just a 30-second timeout. We'll keep it here with 3.15 to go in the quarter. Tell you about Rochester Iron and Metal, a full-service metal recycling and processing center that works hard to make sure that every bit is recycled properly. Perkins and Adley, the law firm both for your present and future legal needs. McDonald's, I'm loving it. Rochester Metal Products, quality iron casting since 1937. And by Rochester Ford, home of the lifetime oil change. 3.15 3.15 to go on the Jennings Insurance scoreboard in the first quarter. It's 14-9. And the Zebras have, have had some good looks. Uh, a couple just did not fall, but I'm I'm oh. guessing it's more about defense on this 30-second oh, yeah. timeout. Uh, I'm trying to read body language there from Coach Malco, and I think it had to do with a lot with closeouts. <laughs> you got to get a hand in their face. They, uh, they're, they're not going to be, you know, they're, if they're two, three feet behind that the line, they're, 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 yeah. Yeah, they're fine with that. They're, if you don't put a hand in their face, they'll, they're going to shoot over the top. Here's Bowers now after the timeout by the Zebras. 14 to 9, Zebras. Here's the give and go to Pollock. Down to Prater up off the glass. Good. Great look by Dylan. 14 to 3, three point Wabash lead. That was really nice by Dylan Hook. We don't really talk about his passing very much, but well, he's just become so much more aggressive as nope. the season since he got back from his finger injury. Daughtry top the key with the basketball against Bowers. Again, Zebras in the man. They go right side over to Ford. Man, they set a lot of picks. Ford. Against Dylan, and now we're going to have a whistle. Offensive foul, and Coach Wright is going berserk. He wanted one earlier and didn't get it, and that was on Grant Ford, his first team first of the quarter. Coach Wright wanted one against Bowers at the other end and didn't get it. Now he's like, you call that? 14 to 11, Zebras basketball. Zebras. Corner, shot for Bowers off the mark, no good. The rebound comes away to Ford. Ford quickly ahead to Daughtry. Daughtry has it, goes to right. Right didn't even see it coming. Turnover, Wabash. Right uh, never even looked, and he's going to come out and come in for the first time. Is Brayton is Ice? Isaac, is Isaac Wright banged up a little bit? He, he looks, looks like, like he's, he's limping, nursing, isn't he? like, nursing like a hip or something. He's kind of limping out. Ice comes in for him. 14 to 11. They go to Prater, top of the key. Prater then goes right to the hole, up off the glass, good. What a move by Prater. He's got eight in the quarter, and it's 14-13, Walmice by one. Well, that, after a rough game against Lewis Cass, Owen Prater's been terrific. He was great at Plymouth, and he's off to a really hot start tonight. They, it's kind of a tough matchup for them. Here's Mattern with the basketball. Mattern gives it up to Ford. Ford looking, can't get it, top the key. Here's a three on the way. That's by Ice, no good. Rebound quickly ahead to uh, Reinerts. Now to Prater in the corner. Prater against Daughtry. Prater, pull up jumper, off the mark, no good. And the rebound no. comes away no. to a 23, and I don't have a 23, but on the JV set it says Osborne, so that's what we'll go with. And here's Wabash with the basketball. Now that was really good defense by Daughtry on Prater there. Forced him to take a shot, but one foot behind where he wanted. Here's Matter, pull up jumper, no good. Tanner Reinerts with another rebound. Ahead to Bazo. Bazo pulls up, gives it to Tanner. Tanner right in front of Wabash, now gives it up to the top of the key to Bowers. Minute 10, 14-13, and there's an offensive foul on Bowers. And that's going to be his first team first. So each team now with an offensive foul. So Barger will come back in. He's going to replace Bowers. Wow. <laughs> um, they certainly sell those offensive foul calls yes. at Wabash. Uh, and the official bought what they were selling that time. Here comes Daughtry with the basketball. I mean, Drew Bowers is 5'8", and yeah. 160 soaking, pounds soaking wet. And they... Daughtry has the basketball, pull up jumper at the elbow, in and out, no good. Tanner with another rebound. Reiner still a hook. Hook has the basketball, now up to Tanner. Tanner, right side to Prater. 
Prater going to be guarded by Ice. Pull up jumper on over him. No good. Ford with a quick rebound. Ford looks to push. 38 seconds to go in the quarter. 14-13. Still one point lead for Wabash. Here is Ford. Pulls up. Gives it up to Daughtry. Three feet behind the line. Good. Daughtry with nine. And it's 17-13 with 25 seconds to go. Prater has it. Prater. Up top of the key to Ryder. He'll fire a three ball off the back of the iron. No good. Prater with a rebound. Prater back up and another offensive foul. And Prater is going to be listened for two. And that's going to be his first, team second. Pollock will come in. Reinert will sit down. 13.8 seconds to go. Well, there have been three bang-bang calls in this quarter already, and all three times they've said offensive foul. Yeah. And the one they didn't, that I thought maybe was, they didn't call earlier. Yeah, they didn't. And they since didn't. then, they've called them all. Yeah. Here's Daughtry with it. Daughtry around Bogger. Go to the hole. Layup up and good. He is just so quick. 19-13. Here's a half-court shot by Pollock, and uh, it's not going to make it. At the end of one, Wabash 19, Rochester 13. Back with the second quarter after this. You're listening to Zebra Mouse Ball, Giant FM, and RTC TV4. But it was Daughtry with 11. And again, the last 30 seconds of the quarter, Rochester did not handle that well. They didn't take, they shot too early. It was not a good shot. Prater with it now, back against Vogel, goes up on good. Prater now in double digits, 19-15. Here comes Daughtry with the basketball for the Apaches. I'll be curious to see what kind of adjustments Coach Wright makes to that yeah. because, again, you might see this team again in the sectional. So, I mean, he's got some things to think about, just like Coach Malco. Here is Dinkins with the basketball. But Prater just abused Vogel off the dribble there. Right back in at the break. Goes up strong over to the top and good. Isaac Wright with his first points of the game, 21-15. Here's Bowers the other end with a quick two up and good. Bowers has seven, 21-17. Here comes Vogel. Vogel has the basketball right side now to Daughtry. Over the top they go to Wright. Now down in the corner. That is Mattern. Now Rochester in kind of a 3-2 zone. Vogel has the basketball on the right side. Now dribbles to the middle. Kicks wanna, it back to Mattern. They want to deny that high post. To Wright. To Vogel. Vogel down low. Kicks it back out. Daughtry picks it up. Goes running. But loses it. Picked up by Pollock. Great Pollock. defense by Drew Bowers. Pollock to Tanner Reinhardt. Thinks about a three. Passes it up. Bowers will take it from the corner. In and out. No good. And Wright with the rebound. Gives it up to Daughtry. Clearly something's wrong with Isaac Wright. He's not running well at all. Daughtry has the basketball. Gets it over to Dinkins. Dinkins has it. Now to Wright. I mean, Wright will put it on the floor against Bogger. Now kicks it back out. Here's Matter and three on the way for him. Way off the mark. Bowers grabs it in stride. Ahead to Prado. Oh, way up, up and good. Oh, what a pass. Right between two or three defenders of the Wabash Apaches, and Prater catches that right up and easy. I mean, you don't make that pass unless you played a lot of basketball. Dinkins with the basketball, now to right. Right at the block against Barger. Turn around up off the glass. Oh, that was a tough shot. 23-19. Here comes Bowers. Bowers goes low down to Prater again against Vogel. A little short this time for Prater. Vogel gets the rebound. 540 to go here in the first half. 23-19 wall bash on the Jennings Insurance scoreboard. Daughtry has it. Top of the key to Vogel. Right side now to Matter. Gives it off to Dinkins. Dinkins has it right wing. Now in the corner. Daughtry pump fake. Steps inside to three on the way. No good. And a rebound comes away to Prater. Er, Pr uh, Reiner. Tipped by right. Picked up by Pollock. Tanner has it. Now over to Bowers. Three in front of the Wabash bench. No good. Right with a rebound. Isaac Wright leads him with five rebounds a game, and he's got two so far tonight. Here is Vogel with it. Now off to Daughtry. Daughtry against Bowers. Now they go right side. Now to Matter. Vogel, top the key. Here's Dinkins. Three on the way for him. Good. First points of the night for Dinkins. 26-19, under five to go before halftime. Here comes Bowers with the basketball. Gets a screen but doesn't use it. Gives it up now to Prater. He hands it off to Bowers. Travels. Yep. Couple of substitutions for Rochester. Kaiser coming in for the first time and Reffitt coming in. Mattern coming out and Ford coming back in. So on the floor for Rochester now will be Bowers, Prater, Reffitt, Reinerts, and Kaiser. And if you're Coach Wright, you got to be happy. You know, Ford picked up an early foul 
game of rest, and uh, you maintained your lead. In fact, you increased your lead. Daughtry to the hole, running layup up off the glass, no good. Tanner Reinerts with the rebound. Daughtry tips it from behind. Ball's loose, picked up by Reinerts. Now to Prater, to Reinerts. Kicks it out to Reffitt. Three on the way for Jack. Air balls it, no good. Rebound comes away to Dinkins. Dinkins quickly ahead, gives it up to Ford. Ford with a basketball. Yeah, Jack was kind of backtracking yeah. on that shot. Ford they goes were, over to Dinkins. They were closing out her and you foul on Kaiser. And now we're going to have a foul. It's probably going to be against Kaiser trying to get through the screen. And it is on Jonas. It's going to be his first. Team first of the quarter. 4.08 to go. 26-19. Wabash on top here at Rochester High School. Rainey and Val, glad you could join us. Wow, all well, the tough shots Daughtry's made, and he missed the last time. Now he missed maybe the easiest one he's had. Vogel to inbound. Gets it over to the top. Now to Dinkins. Dinkins has it. Gives it up to Ford. Right side. Now to Daughtry against Zebra, Bowers. Zebra's back in the man. Daughtry into the paint, and they're going to have a foul on the floor before the shot. It'll be out of bounds, and that's going to be on Drew Bowers. He'll pick up his second. Team second of the quarter, and Carson Pollock will check in. And I'm guessing Drew will sit down, and he will. Four minutes to go. Coach Malco plays so many different defenses. I'm, I was kind of curious to know. Uh, I mean, I don't think he, he has to worry about showing your cards against a potential sectional opponent um, compared to other coaches who maybe play only one or two defenses. Right against Kaiser. What a spin move by Isaac Wright. He's got six in the quarter, and it's 28-19. Kaiser on the other end, pull up jumper up and good. Kaiser with his first two, 28-21. Seven point lead for the Apaches. Here's Vogel on the other it's end. It's good to see Jonas Kaiser aggressive. I mean, he, he wasn't very aggressive against Plymouth the other night and that's a really good sign. Dinkins with the basketball. Especially the considering key. how much he has his hands full on the defensive end as well. Daughtry, three on the way for him's good. And it's 31-21. Ten-point lead now for Wabash, the biggest of the night. Prater has it. Now to Pollock. Pollock with the basketball. Down low to Prater. Prater against Vogel. Goes to the block up off the glass. Too hard. And the rebound comes to Wright. Wright. Well, Prater had the right idea. He spun away from the help. Just couldn't finish. Gives it up to Vogel. Coach Wright says slow it down a little bit here. And now we're going to have another offensive – Defensive foul against Kaiser, trying to get through those screens. It's going to be his second, team third, and Bogger will come back in, and Kaiser will sit down. 2.53 to go here before halftime, a 10-point lead, 31-21. I mean, when your opponent is hitting 20-footers and you're missing 5-footers, I don't know there's a whole lot of uh, analysis that I can give. Hook in, and Reffitt will sit down. And Rochester's getting pretty good shots. It's just they've got to close out faster on their shooters. Vogel will inbound. Vogel into Daughtry. Daughtry back to Dinkins. Dinkins kicks it out to Ford on the far side. Ford has it. Now over to Vogel. Vogel, top of the key to right. He'll fire a three, five foot behind the line. It's an air ball goes out of bounds. Zebra basketball. You know, that started with a good closeout by Dylan Hook, who helped out a yeah. teammate. Uh, they were trying to get a shot in the wing, and he helped out. And that possession kind of dissolved from there for Wabash. 31-21 still our score. Two and a half to go. Prater with the basketball for the Zebras. Zebras have it. They give it to Hook. Top the key. Hook gives it to Reinerts. Back to Hook. Dylan dribbles in. Dribbles keeps it low. And he's going to be fouled. It's on the floor. It'll be foul number one of the quarter for Wabash. And it's going to be whistled against 32 right. His first. Out of bounds to Rochester underneath their own basket. LaVille leads Triton 16 to seven, end of the first quarter. Those are the only two undefeated teams left in the Hoosier North. That is at the trench tonight. Prater, Prater has it, tries to go down low to Hook. Tipped out of bounds by Daughtry. And Coach Malco can't wait much longer as he'll bring in uh, Bowers. Again, Drew playing with two fouls. He'll come in for Pollock. Drew will take it out of bounds. Gonna be on the sideline this time in front of the Wabash bench. Drew looking to get it in. Dillon cuts to the basketball. Stolen by Dinkins. Gives it up to Vogel. Vogel has it. 10-point lead for Wabash. 2-10 to go here in the first half. Vogel will walk it across the timeline. Vogel against Bogger. Top the key. Now they go to the near side. Here's Wright. Three on the way for him. No good. But the rebound comes away to Dinkins. 
Dinkins will kick it back out to Daughtry, and he'll reset the offense. Dinkins set a nice screen and got an offensive rebound. Here goes Vog- er, Daughtry to the hole, runs into Prater, and a quick lay ahead down for Rochester, down to Hook, lamp up and good. Dylan Hook with his first points. 31-23. And here comes Wabash. Now Dinks, Dinkins with it. Top of the key to Wright. He'll fire a three from the top. Good. Isaac Wright with his first three of the night. I don't think he's healthy, but his shot looks fine. 34-23. They go down low to Prater. Prater guarded still by Vogel. Prater looks to take Vogel. He does to the hole. Up off the glass. Good. Owen Prater having himself a night. 34-25 Zebras trail. Again, Coach Wright hanging with Vogel defensively, even though he's been having to battle Prater and fighting a losing battle a lot of the time. Dinkins with it, now to right. They give it up to Ford. Ford goes to the hole, up and good to foul. And I believe it's going to be whistled on Reinerts. Reinerts picks up his first. Team fourth. And substitutions will be Bazo and Pollock. Coming out will be Bowers and Hook. 56.3 56.3 seconds remain. 36-25 is our score. And Ford now for the first free throw of the entire first half. And it's good. Both teams, nobody. That's the first free throw. Been up and down the floor a lot. 37-25. 50 seconds to go. Zebras with the basketball. They give it up to Pollock. Pollock. Left side now to Reinerts. Reinerts, spin move, kicks it up to Bazo. Oh, and Prater's got to get a touch here. Now they give it to Bogger. Into the paint, Bogger falls down, throws it, and Pollock just able to save it. Pollock with the basketball at the elbow to Bazo. Three for Bazo, good. Robert Bazo with his first points of the night. 37-28. Never mind. 20 seconds to go. It's the foul reverse they, they don't need Owen Prater. <laughs> Top the key, here is Daughtry. Guarded this time by Pollock. Here comes Dinkins for the screen with 10. They go right side around Pollock. He kicks it out. Right for three from the left side. Good. Isaac Wright has three more. And that's 40-28. And a foul. I'm going to call against Plymouth or against Wabash, but it, they had a foul, several fouls here to give. And so but it is two on right. Second on right. But with one second to go, Zebras are going to have to catch and toss. Pollock will inbound. Pollock to Prater at the buzzer. No. And that will do it for the first half. At halftime on the Jenny Jensen scoreboard. Wabash, 40. Rochester, 28. Back with the halftime show being brought to you by Rochester Iron and Metal when we return to Rochester High School here on Giant FM and RTC TV4. And next uh, Friday, um, McConaughey and Manchester will do battle. Wabash basketball to start the third quarter. Daltry with the basketball, goes on the far side, kicks it in the corner. Here's three for Vogel on the way, in and out, no good. Reinerts with his sixth rebound. Quickly ahead now, here's Bowers. But again, the Zebra just got caught looking defensively, but the thankfully Vogel missed comes, the shot. Goes to the Reinerts, goes up, no good. And the rebound fought for, and we're going to have a jump ball. Vogel and Prayer tie it up. It'll be Zebra basketball. Turnover, Wabash. Original five on the floor for Rochester. Pollock, Reinerts, Bogger, Prater, and Bowers. The original five back for Wabash as well. Daughtry, Vogel, Ford, Duncan, and Wright. Three on the way for Pollock, no good, and the rebound comes away to Vogel. Vogel quickly ahead to Ford. He loses it out of bounds. Turnover, Wabash. So a uh, handful of turnovers here to start uh, just 35 seconds into the quarter. And this is a, yeah, it's a rare careless turnover for yeah. Wabash. So Zebras will have it now with Bowers bringing the basketball up. Guarded by Daughtry. Here comes the screen. They fake the screen, give it off to Bogger. Bogger into the paint against Vogel now this time. And no good. And uh, saved from going out of bounds. The right, right into Vogel's hands. So they have taken Vogel off of Prater. Well, Wright's looking a lot yeah. better here this half. He's not. There's Wright with it. Up top now to Daughtry. Far side to Dinkins. Dinkins with the basketball against Prater. Or excuse me, that's Reinerts. The Daughtry into the corner. Right, right, right. Has it. 
Leans in, throws it up off the good. 14 points now for Wright. I'm not sure what you can tell yeah. Bryce Bogger to do there. I mean, he was. Prater travels. And the uh, turnover gives it back to Wallbash. I mean, Bryce held his ground, held yeah. his ground, held his ground, and Wright just made a great shot. Vogel will have it. He'll be picked up by Pollock. Zebras again in a man. With six and a half to go here in the third, 42-28. Here's Ford with it to Daughtry. Over to Dinkins. Dinkins has it. Back up top to Ford. Quick three on the way for him. Off the mark, no good. And Bowers kick, picks up the run, basketball. Now to Pollock. Ahead to Tanner. Tanner on the floor. Baseline up and off the glass. Good. First points for Reinerts. Gets himself into the contest now at 42 to 30. And that's a good sign. That, that's that's going to be a tough matchup for Wabash because once Tanner gets ahead of steam going on the dribble, he's just tough to stop. There's Daughtry against Bowers. Goes around him, and Daughtry was 16 now. Quick first step for Daughtry. And now Bowers has it. Bowers top the key. Gives it up to Pollock. Swings it near side now to Bogger. Bogger into the paint to Pollock to Tanner. Swings it in the corner. Ford is over on Prater, reaches in, knocks the ball loose. Prater picks it back up. Spin move up off the glass. Good. 16 for Prater. Quickly ahead to Dinkins. Dinkins, hand lamp up and good. Zebras fell asleep there on getting back. And Coach Malco wants a timeout. It's going to be a uh, waiting to see. And it's... Malco calls a 30-second timeout with 5.21 to go. 46-32 here at Rochester High School. Mike Anderson, where they always find a familiar face. Steve Moore Insurance Agency, small town, big service. Farm Credit Mid-America, securing the future of rural communities and agriculture, as well as Ivy Tech of Northern Indiana. Sign up for classes today. All proud supporters of Zebra Basketball here on Giant FM. Coach John Burris making his return to Southwood tonight. And then right now it is the host Knights leading McConaughey 19 to 16 at the end of one quarter. Of course, coach to get coached against them last year when in Bunker Hill. But uh, traveling to Southwood tonight. So here is the basketball now back with the Zebras. After the 30-second timeout, Reffitt will check in next opportunity. Bowers has it. Bowers into the paint. Kicks it back out to Pollock. Swing it to Reinert. Stop the key. Now to Kaiser, who checked in during the timeout. Gives it up to Prater. Prater swings it right side. Here's Kaiser with it in the corner to Reinert. Now to Prater against Ford. He'll take the 15-footer way off the mark, and the rebound comes away to Vogel. Well, Wabash just fought through screens really well there. Here's Wabash. You can just tell they play defense on their toes. To the hole goes right and count it and a foul. Isaac Wright will go to the free throw line as the Zebras pick up their first foul in the third quarter. And that's going to be against Kaiser, his third. So Pollock and Raffit will sit down. You know... Uh, if there's been a, maybe a, a criticism of Wabash, so they fall, they're such good three-point shooters that they fall in love with a three. Yeah. That hasn't happened tonight. 49-32. Biggest lead of the night for Wabash. Here's Reffitt for three. Left side too hard. And the rebound comes away to Dinkins. Here's Vogel. Vogel has the basketball for Wabash. 49-32, 4.20 to go here in the third. Ford with it. Ford left side, now to Dinkins. He'll fire a three from the right side. Good. And they, it's 52 they 32. Screen and cut so well. Here's Bowers has it. Elbow jumper on the way, short. And it rolls off. And last touch by Ford. It'll stay with Rochester. I mean, everything is just sharp. Their screens are sharp. They cut off the shoulder, they yeah. run off the shoulder, off the screens. It's, it's textbook stuff. Top of the key, Bowers, or inbounding Bowers into Reinerts. Reinerts against Wright, goes up and good. Reinerts with four now. Good defense by Wright, yeah. better offense by Reinerts. 52-34. Daughtry will walk it across the timeline. Daughtry will come to the near side. Now to Wright. They run uh, Dinkins off the screen, out to Ford, three on the way, good. Three-point basket, Ford. 
55-34. Ford kind of flashed to the post and popped out. Kaiser in the corner. Kaiser catches, goes to the post, can't do anything with it. Now keeps it back out to Bowers. Bowers up top to Prater. Prater against Ford. Has it stripped, ball's loose, picked up by Kaiser. Kaiser has it now. He'll go to the top of the key, pick up his dribble, comes to Bowers near side. Bowers against Daughtry, down low again to Prater against. They're gonna whistle it on the floor as Ford fouls Prater. It's gonna be the first of the quarter and Ford will pick up his second. Owen Prater having a heck of a night. It uh, doesn't matter apparently who they put on him. He's not afraid to take it to the hole. And Prater will get a breather as Bogger will come in. And the thing is, they're, they're not doubling. No. So there's no reason for Owen. Owen's making the right read. Yeah. Bowers to get it in. Going to have to hurry. They do to Bogger. Top of the key. Bogger on Vogel. Kaiser for three from the wing. Good. Well, he's got a nice looking jump shot. Kaiser has five now. And it's 55-37. Under three, Ford from the corner for three, good. Yeah, they do like to shoot the three, 58-37. Kaiser, 12-footer, no good. Vogel with a rebound, and Coach Wright says walk it up, and Daughtry will do that. Well, they've hit 12 threes, that seems like a lot. Here is Vogel, Vogel has it. Now to right, head fakes, goes to the hole, but right up and no good. Ryerts with another rebound, but he loses it out of bounds. And turnover, Rochester. 2.24 to go in the third, 58-37 on the Jennings Insurance scoreboard. And Prater will come back in, Tanner Ryerts will sit down. And this game is a bunch of seniors playing a bunch of juniors, some talented yes. juniors, but some seniors playing juniors. Dinkins now off to right again. Right, head fakes, right into the paint, kicks it out to Ford. Ford in the right corner. Ford has the basketball. Now gives it up top to Daughtry. Daughtry already set the offense. I, I like the movement of Wallbacks too. They're, they're always moving, they're not standing, uh, which makes it even tougher sometimes to guard. Daughtry top the key, three, no good. Prater with a nice rebound. Ahead to Kaiser. Kaiser has it knocked loose. Picks it up to Bowers. Bowers over to Reffitt. Three for Jack. Good. Reffitt's got three, and that's his first three of the night. Daughtry gambled, one for the steal, didn't get it, and then basically that possession was like five on four. Good job by Rochester finding the open man. 58-40. Here's Wright with it. 90 seconds to go in the quarter. Vogel. Takes Reffitt to the hole, and Kaiser's going to tie him up, or excuse me, Prater's going to tie him up, and it'll be Wabash basketball. As Reinerts will come in, Bogger will sit down. Wright will inbound. Wright, throw it in the backcourt, and Vogel has it. 58 to 40, as Vogel will bring it across the timeline. Vogel goes left side, kicks it out. Here's three for Ford on the way, no good. And the rebound is loose. Tanner picks it up. Ahead to Bowers. Bowers, back to Kaiser. Kaiser, cross court pass to Reffitt. Reffitt has it. Reffitt, now to Kaiser. Free throw line jumper, good. Nice look by Kaiser. Nice pass by Ruffin. It's 58-42, 55 nice screen, seconds. Yeah, nice screen, nice curl by Kaiser. Rochester kind of giving Wabash a little bit of their own medicine on that possession. Daughtry with the basketball now. Daughtry on this near side. 45 seconds to go. The cut by Dinkus throws it out of bounds. Last touch. They're going to say by Rochester. The guy who's impressed me tonight for Wabash, seeing him in person, is Dinkins. He's much improved from last year. And you can tell he's been in the weight room a little bit. And... Uh, he pulls his Going by Prater. Inbound pass was Daughtry, and Prater picks it up and goes to the hole gun. Tough shot. 58-44, 30 seconds to go in the quarter. I thought he could have called an and one there as well. Vogel has it. Rochester will take the bucket. 22 seconds to go. Reffitt goes and tries to knock it loose. Can't do so. Wright has it top of the key. No reason not to be aggressive here. Now... Yeah, absolutely. 
They're going to call foul on Reffitt. That's his first team second of the quarter. I mean, the, the, the Rochester bench was yelling at Jack yeah. to, to foul. So Daughtry will inbound with 12.7 seconds to go. Daughtry gets it in to right, right, fakes a three, and it's going to be on the floor. No shot. So Kaiser picks up his fourth. Oh, just his third. I thought it was his fourth. Yeah, there it is, fourth. Well, that, that's, I didn't think they'd want Jonas to pick up a foul. Uh-oh. Into Daughtry. They forgot all about him, and he cut in the middle and up off the glass. Good. And the ball is tipped out of bounds. Last touch by Wabash. It'll be Rochester with 5.9 seconds to go right at midcourt. Well, that was disastrous. I mean, you commit those fouls to get them in an uncomfortable spot, and then you give up a layup. Prater will fire a three. Good for Prater. That'll do it for the quarter. Prater, he can't miss tonight. What a shot. He was about 10 foot behind the line. And that'll do it for the third quarter. 60-47 is the score to end of the third. Back with more Giant FM and RTC TV4. you by Farm Credit Mid-America. It'll be Zebra Basketball. Prater will inbound to Bowers. Reinerts at Reffitt and Kaiser, the other three on the floor for Rochester. 60-47. Double possession chance here. Kaiser, three from the left wing, way off the mark, and a rebound. Comes away to Osborne, and Osborne's going to be fouled, and that's going to be Rochester's first of the fourth quarter, and that one's going to be whistled against Prater. Prater with 21 so far through three, three quarters of action here tonight. So a great night offensively. Barker comes back in and Kaiser sits down. Lewis Cass leads North Miami 28-18 at halftime. And Caston leads North Judson 14-11 at halftime. 20 seconds gone by in the quarter, 60-47. Here's Daughtry with it. Daughtry to right. Now gives it off to Ford. Ford to Daughtry at the free throw line. Kicks it over to Vogel. Vogel back to right, right, top of the key to Ford. Ford has the basketball. Ford looking, gives it to Daughtry. He'll reset the offense. Daughtry has it. Back to the top of the key, left side to Ford. Ford around Prater. Ford goes up off the glass, good. Grant Ford. Grant Ford's got two more, and it's 62-47. It looks like something that Ford has added to his game since last year. Reinerts to the hole, kicks it out to Bogger, three on the way off the mark, and Ford with a big rebound. Yeah, it took a little too yeah. long for Bryce to release that shot. It looked like he was maybe, might have fumbled it for a split second. Here is Vogel. Vogel to right, now to Ford in the corner to a cutting Daughtry. Almost loses it, saves it, right has it. Vogel, top of the key, back to Daughtry in front of the Wabash bench. Pass is trying to go down low to Ford, and Tanner Reinerts gets a hand up and knocks it out of bounds. Aubrey Wilson put her, just put herself into the game. 62-47. She's just a natural ball hawk. <laughs> into the top of the key. Here's Daughtry. Now over to Wright. Wright has the basketball. Wright goes over to Vogel. Vogel has it in front of the Wabash bench. He'll bring it back up top of the key. They'll reset. 6.23 to go here in the fourth. Top, or in the corner, now is Daughtry against Bowers. Kicks it out, here's a three for four to the other side, good. You do such a great job on the defense and then unfortunately give up a three. Here's Bowers the other end, head fake is up and good. And the, the Bowers with nine. 
And again, those these Wabash kids, they've been playing together for so long. They're yeah. just thinking, well, if it takes 30 seconds or 35 seconds, we're going to get the shot we want eventually. Right. Daughtry has it. Vogel. And I think that's what Coach Wright mainly is working on right now is getting that extra open, you know, I mean, make that extra pass as they uh, move in the ball very nicely here in this motion offense. Here's Osborne with it. Osborne out of right, right top of the key to Daughtry. Daughtry will reset. Five and a half to go. Out of right. Right gives it up to Ford. Ford with the basketball in the corner. Back up top to the key to right, left side now to Daughtry. Coach Wright really encouraging his guys yeah. on the, the bench. You know, take some time off the clock, get a good shot. Ford top of the key, no good. Rebound, Reinerts. Reinerts just quickly as I ahead. Said check up a three that probably didn't need. Yeah, Coach Wright was not happy about that one, and Ford's <laughs> going to pick up a foul on the other end. Coach Wright throws up his hands to Grant Ford going, what are you doing? So the foul is on. I'm just jinxing everybody. Yeah. <laughs> First for four. Talk about how patient, they, how patient they are, and they always get the shot they want, and then that happens. Hooks in. Ruffett sits down for Rochester. 5.09 to go here in the fourth on the Jennings Insurance scoreboard. 65-49. Reinerts gets the inbounds pass from Bowers. Bowers gets it back. Now top the key to Reinerts. To Bowers in the left corner. Bowers into the paint. Up off the glass. Good. That was nifty. I mean, Bowers right around Daughtry. And Daughtry's not a bad tough defender. To do. Yeah. Daughtry's not a bad defender, and Drew Bowers just whipped him off the dribble. 65-51. Top of the key now is right. Right. Goes right side against Bogger. Up, up off the rim. No good. And Prater with a quick rebound. That's probably the quickest shot they've had this quarter. Prater out to Reinerts. Downhill goes Tanner. Up off the glass. Got the roll. Reinerts has six now. 65-53. Vogel has it top the key. Vogel goes to Daughtry here on the near side. Down in the corner to Ford. Ford against Prater. Prater tries to sell that one, can't get it. Now back up to the right. Daughtry on the other side. Daughtry will bring it back up top. They'll reset the motion offense for the Apaches. 4.05 to go here in the fourth. Daughtry into the paint. Now to Osborne. Back to Daughtry. Now under four. Ford has it. Now Daughtry, top of the key, pulls the trigger on a three, no good. And the rebound comes away to Dylan Hook. Now off to Bowers. And Coach Malco wants a timeout. It is a 60-second timeout with 3.49 to go here in the fourth. Back with more Giant FM. Here at Rochester High School, 65-53. 3.49 remaining after the Zebra timeout. It'll be Zebra basketball. Mogger gets it into Bowers. Bowers has it, top the key. Bowers goes right side now to Bogger. Bogger hands it back off to Bowers, who hands it to Prater. Back to Bowers, three on the way for him. Good. Bowers is second three of the night. All of a sudden, it's down to single digits. 65-56. Here's Vogel with the basketball. A nice little weave handoff play yeah. that Coach uh, Malco called in the huddle. Dinkins back in for Wabash. He gives it up to Daughtry. Now, it's interesting. Now, that's something you would show Wabash knowing you, even though you might see him again yeah. in March. Dinkins has cast. Now up to Daughtry. 3-10 to go here in the fourth. Dinkins against Reinerts. Far side now. Picks his dribble up. Gives it to right. Now back to Daughtry. Daughtry holds against Bowers. Daughtry back to right. Right. Top of the key. Right to Dinkins. Dinkins, a couple of dribbles, picks it up to right. Coach Malco uh, changing some defense up. He wants some trap. Here comes the trap by the Zebras. They go swing it to Dinkins. Dinkins has it, kicks it out to Ford. Ford, right side wing on the way. Three, no good. And a quick rebound to Tanner. Quickly ahead to uh, Prater, stolen by Ford. Ford goes around, layup, up and good. Grant Ford with a layup. And it's 67-56. And that might be something of a dagger. Here's Prater with it. Prater down low, goes up and good. Man, that was a tough bucket. 23 now for Prater. I mean, Dinkins' defense, I thought was really good there. 67-58, 2-10 to go. Dinkins has the basketball. Now to Vogel. Vogel, top of the key, kicks it back out to Daughtry. Daughtry will go right down the middle of the lane, lays it up, no good. Hook with the rebound. Good defense by Reinerts. Here quickly now with Prater with the basketball. Prater gives it to Bowers. He'll fire a deep three. Good. It's down to six. Bowers with three, and it's 67-61. 
Here comes Ford. Ford has the basketball. Ford now down to the corner to right to Dinkins down low and they're gonna call a blocking foul against Hook. I thought the arm kind of extended there, but. Well, some Zebra fans not liking the call, but actually not a bad foul there. They're not in the bonus. It'll be out of bounds as that foul comes on a Hook. And it's just a second. Carson Polly comes in, Hook sits down. We have had, what, one free throw attempt the entire game? Yeah. By both teams, we have 138 to go. Yeah. 67-61, and they want a towel. They got some uh, You know, it's funny, if that's moisture. all you knew about the game, you'd say, well, it's been stall ball. No. The score's 27-21. to 21. Yeah. <laughs> this has been a free-flowing, pretty yes. fun-to-watch basketball game. I mean, overall, see, we had six for Rochester in the first, five for Rochester in the second here, five fouls, and uh, three and two for Wabash, so... Yeah, not, not a lot of fouls. There's been some that could have been called, but they've gone both ways. So yeah. the officiating crew doing a fairly decent job here tonight. Mm -hmm. Zebra's gone over the 60-point mark again for the sixth time in their last seven games. 67-61. Daughtry has the inbound pass. Minute 35. Right with it. Kicks it out to Ford. Now back up top to Vogel. Back to right. Right. Now to Vogel. Vogel kicks it to Daughtry. <coughs> now to right, or excuse me, that is Ford. And they're going to give it to Vogel. Vogel has it. Zebra's trying to knock it loose. Almost did there. Reinerts ties it. Reinerts ties it up. But we're going to first have a, I think we have a timeout first. We'll wait and see. The officials will talk it over. Will they give him the timeout, or are they going to call it a jump ball? Either way, well, it's going to be Wabash basketball. They right, got the arrow. It, it, right, it would be big though if they could get the timeout then they could save the arrow for later and they do they give him the timeout the 30 second timeout with a minute 14 to go 67 61 that saves the arrow for Wabash first federal savings bank they don't want to be the biggest bank just the best Fulton County best one tire the most important person to them is you RGC communications phone cable and internet Shepard Chevy GMC of Rochester where they always treat you like family and Fulton County REMC Making it better tomorrow since 1936. 114 to go here in the fourth on the Jennings Insurance Scoreboard. 67-61, down to a six-point Wabash lead. It's the closest it's been for a while. The Zebra's doing a great job here. And Wabash taking some time, but they had some unadvised shots as Coach Wright didn't like a few of those. Yes. Now we'll see what the defense can do here with a minute 14. Can they get a steal? Yeah, One good. foul for Wabash, two fouls for Rochester. Let's give kudos to Carson Pollock for some nice effort on the defensive end. Now they trap Ford. Ford gets it off to right. Now on to Daughtry. Daughtry then a trap. Ball's loose. Still in the backfield. And now we're going to have a foul as a loose ball as they go after Daughtry for it. And I believe it's going to be on Bowers or Prater. We'll wait and see. Prater. Going to get his third, team third of the quarter. So with 106 to go, still six-point Wabash lead. And again, if you're Coach Wright, you remember had a, you had a double-digit lead at home against the Zebras last year, and you lost. You had a lead here, I believe, two years two years ago here, and you lost. Wright has the basketball. So not a lot of pleasant memories for Wabash in this building. Vogel over the top to right, right back to Vogel. Vogel got to get it across and does the punch. now to Dinkins. Dinkins gives it up to Wright, under a minute to go, and uh, Wright's going to be fouled on Bogger. Going to pick up his first, and that'll be team number four. So after this, now Wabash will shoot free throws. It's kind of the curse when you play great defense and don't get many fouls. Now all of a sudden you got a foul at the end. They get it into Daughtry. Bowers picks him up. Now over to Wright on the far side. Wright goes up to Vogel. Vogel then is going to be fouled by Reinerts, and Vogel will be the one to shoot the free throws. Tanner Reinerts going to pick up his second, and that will send Vogel to the line. Again, only one other free throw before this has been attempted tonight. That was by Ford back in the second quarter. Here is Vogel. Vogel has two points on the night. 49 seconds to go. Free throw on the way is good. 68-61. Vogel has one more. 
Zebras with three timeouts. I believe Wabash has four. Free throw good again by Vogel. And a 30 second timeout for the Apaches with 69, with the score 69 61, 49 seconds to go. I'll tell you about Smith Farm Store, serving farm and home since 1971. Smith Sawyer Smith Insurance, Insurance Bonds and Wealth Management. Jennings Insurance in Argus and Rochester going beyond the expected for you. Fulton County Solid Waste District, don't trash our future, please recycle. And by Pulaski Memorial Hospital, connecting you with excellent health care providers. 49 seconds even to go. It's 69-61, the score here at Rochester High School. Three timeouts for Wabash, two for Rochester. Rochester trailed at one point 55-34 and then trailed 58-37. And they cut it down to six. Now an eight. Bowers with the basketball. Bowers will quickly bring it up. Cross the timeline with 43. Bowers has it right side. Gets a double screen, tipped by Vogel. Reinert's three, top of the key, good! Timeout, Rochester. Reinert's with his first three of the night. And it's a 60, uh, 62nd timeout, 69-64. Back with more, Giant FM and RTC TV. Ford with 22, Wright with 17, Daughtry with 18. Their big three have been big tonight, but especially Ford, who has seven of their nine this quarter. Owen oh, Prater with 23 for Rochester. Here is the Zebras with the, or excuse me, Wabash with the basketball. They try to get it in, they do. Quickly to Wright, Wright has it, now to Vogel, and Vogel will be fouled by Pollock as he tries to strip the basketball. It's gonna be Pollock's first. That'll send Vogel back to the line. That was uh, a little bit of a scary pass <laughs> in the backcourt there, but as many of you know, Trevor Daughtry is also a wide receiver in the football team, and he caught that like a football. He used his wide receiver skills to pull it down. Vogel, free throw on the way. No. Thought maybe it'd roll over the front of the iron, but it bounced out. 69-64. Nobody on the line for Wabash. As Vogel will have his second free throw. On the way, good. One for two, 70-64. Here comes Pollock with the basketball. 24 seconds. Pollock has it down low and he's gonna be fouled. Not a bad foul if you're Wabash because that's only your second. And that one's gonna be whistled against Dinkins, his first. Again, th two to give for Wabash. They get it in. Reinert's corner three. Good. Oh, Wabash fell asleep defensively there. Timeout, Rochester. 67 70. Three point game with 17.9 seconds to go. And the Zebras call their final timeout. Zebras are out of timeouts. Wabash has three remaining. I believe they're all 60s. And we'll keep it here. We'll talk about, yeah. What a, what a collapse for uh, Wabash's defense. Obviously, they had to get it in, yeah. and Tanner just snuck to the corner and nailed it. I, I know they had a, they used their last timeout. I think, oh boy, I think I would have liked to have saved it somehow, but I try get to, it. I try get to get it. a quick foul. And try to get a quick foul, or, or even better, a quick steal. Yeah. But I, I understand, but now that, boy, you wish you had that timeout. The good thing is that, uh, and well, no, I forgot, that, but I forgot about that. Wabash also has the arrow. So always got three full timeouts yeah. and they get the arrow in their favor. 17.9 to go, three point contest. I, I do believe the length has bothered Wabash just a little bit. Yeah. 70 67 on the Jennings Insurance scoreboard. Dinkins will inbound. Wabash has everybody at the half court. Caston leads North Judson 25 17 in the third quarter. Manchester leads Peru 50 to 44 in the three quarters. Dinkins gets it in and. Right away, they foul Wright, and Wright will go to the free throw line. And that foul is going to be on Owen Prater. And Wright will go to the free throw line for two. He's one for one tonight. 17 on the night right now for Wright. And I think uh, Tanner Reiners went over just to kind of calm down Owen Prater. I, you know, right kind of, again, I mean, that's yeah. sort of thing's going to happen. 
free throw by Wright is good. 18 points for him. Ref it in, Prater sits down. 16.9 seconds to go. 71-67. And Wabash with still two fouls to give. Right, second free throw. Good again. And now Coach Wright wants a timeout. 16.9, 72-67. We'll take a quick 30 and come back after this. Timeout. Marion puts 72. Of course, Marion, they play. Pollock will inbound. He gets it into Bowers. Bowers against Daughtry. Behind the back. And now a quick foul coming as that will be called on okay. right. That's going to be his third, team third. Yeah, that was, that was smart because I thought maybe Daughtry was going to foul him, but he was playing him straight up. Yeah, you, you forced him to use six seconds yeah. off the clock, and then because the worry is that you, you give up the pick and pop, but you had to foul. 10.4. Pollock to get it in. Pollock into Bogger. Bogger quickly over in a pass. Nope, they're going to call a foul first. And that foul is going to be whistled against Vogel. His first, team fourth. So now with 8.2 seconds to Tanner go. Reiner slipped and fell yeah. on the inbounds, and Rochester gives a little bit of a break there. Still need basically a miracle. And they get their fourth timeout. It's a 60 second timeout with 8.2 to go. Back with more Giant FM and RTC TV4. Pollock to inbound. Pollock throwing it over the top to Bowers, and it's going to be tipped by Wright. It'll go out of bounds. It'll stay with Rochester, but now on the other side with just six seconds to go. Good read by Wabash, and Coach right now just tells his guys don't foul at all, and should be pretty good now. Pollock to get it in, into Bogger. Bogger takes a shot and no good, and the rebound comes away, and that'll do it. 72-67 the final. Here at Rochester High School is the Wabash Apaches defeat the Zebras in a pretty good ball game as it come down to the stretch. We'll come back with the post game brought to you by Perkins and Adley and we'll have the In Your Tardware player of the game. All that coming your way here after this timeout. The final on the Jennings Insurance scoreboard. 72-67 Wabash over Rochester. Back with more Giant FM and RTC TV 4. 